Energy storage is really critical for the future of the energy industry. You could argue that the changes we've seen in the energy industry would not be possible without energy storage. If you have a home with solar panels, that can be very effective, but if you have energy storage along with it, that's even more effective. Then you can transfer some of that power that's generated during certain times to other times. Energy storage is not just critical to our energy industry right now, but it's also potentially very disruptive. We have a current energy plan in the world that revolves around a central generating facility that then radiates power out to its users. And this has been changing, and we're seeing more and more power being generated and stored at the use point, not just where the utility is generating the power, not just at the power plant. One of the biggest changes that energy storage is bringing to the industry is its ability to enable changes in business models and to allow utilities to fundamentally change their business model, to allow third parties to come in and create brand new business models, and also just to be able to provide industry and even consumers with a lot more choices on how they get the power that they use from day to day. You've got the case with electric vehicles and you have connected living, but now we also get into even more business models where you can start to talk about microgrids. So now you have a small area that has a microgrid, which is a grid that can be completely independent from the larger utility grid, and by definition needs to have both generation and storage. So you could have a university campus, uh, a military base, those are some of the first microgrids that we're seeing in, in actuality. Even a large industrial or commercial park could all be microgrids. A neighborhood could be a microgrid. And energy storage is enabling microgrids. It's also enabling something called virtual power plants. Instead of generating at the central level, you're generating not just at the distributed level for that user, but that distributed generation could be supplying back into the grid that now supplies a larger area. So now you have, in essence, deconstructed the power plant. Instead of having 250 megawatts being generated in one place, you have maybe 10 or 15 or 30 megawatts generated across the grid and now creating a, quote, virtual power plant to help even out the cost, increase the efficiency, and improve the safety of the power grid. So you really need energy storage in a lot of these circumstances because often that generation, that power that's being generated is going to be renewable energy. Technologies and solutions, whether we're talking about solar energy or grid modernization, really deal with green technology, green energy, and better energy efficiency, which really means getting more out of what you currently have. Whether that means you don't need to build another power plant or you just don't need to use as much electricity from the utility. Uh, energy storage can help enable that. So not only is it a technical revolution, is it enabling new business models, it's also enabling a much more green future with a lower carbon footprint. Frances Sullivan has been researching and consulting on energy storage markets for decades, for over 20 years, and I don't think we've seen a more exciting time in the market than what we have today. We now see energy storage affecting all aspects of life, personal devices, to your vehicle, to your grid, to your business, um, to your business model. So I think this is a really exciting time in the industry, and uh, we're really happy to be a part of it.